The purpose of this video is to encourage you how important it is to pay attention to your desires because some of your desires are actually connected to God's will for your life. So you want to pay attention to your desires so that they can lead you to the assignment that God has for you. I won't be able to put everything in this one video. So I am going to have a part two about this topic in this video. I'm going to share with you how to stay in tune with your inner voice and why it is important. And I will also share my story with you. God gives us hints. His hints are not always obvious, so you do have to pay attention and be in tune with God's voice. If not, it's so easy to miss the hint that He's giving you. Before I started my YouTube channel, I had an extra room in my house and I just wanted to create my own space. So I decorated the room and I just put everything in there that I liked. For example, I like motivational quotes and so I put some of those in there. And the next thing is that it came to me how that I needed a desk. Even though I didn't have anything particular to use the desk for, but I just wanted one. Deep down in my heart, I felt that I was going to start my own business and I didn't know what it was. So I just wanted a desk. So my 48th birthday was getting ready to come up and my husband asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I told him I wanted a desk. And so he thought it was very funny because he was like, what are you gonna use it for? It's good to pay attention to the things that you consider are minor things that you want and don't just allow that thought to just come and then you never apply it or do anything about it. So. Once I created my own space and I also got my desk, I started using my desk for in the mornings whenever I did my morning motivation. Once I started doing my morning motivations and I would sit at my desk and I would read a scripture and also listen to music and pray. And I can remember after doing that for a couple of times, it came to me how that you should share this with other women. And I didn't pay attention to it at first, but then I would say maybe like a month or so later, it came to me again. You need to share this with other Christian women. Not long after that, my daughter purchased my husband and I a iPhone. That was my first iPhone. So I was really amazed about the different little things you can do with it. And once I discovered the quality of the videos that I could record with the iPhone, it came to me a small voice and it was like, you should start a YouTube channel, but I didn't pay it any attention. And it's because of my personality. It came to me again, the second time. And when it did, I kind of thought about it for a moment. But then the first thing I thought about as well is that I don't have anything to share. What can I talk about? I didn't have any experience when it came to creating videos or editing videos. I didn't know anything even about starting a YouTube channel. So after the third time it came to me to start a YouTube channel, I paid attention and I listened and I just started. Tip number two, pay attention. It's very important to pay attention. And I think that the reason why it's so hard to pay attention when God is talking to you about something is because that a lot of times we are so involved and our mind is on other things. And to the fact that when God does try to talk to us, we don't even recognize and know that it is his voice. Not long ago, I questioned God about it because it's very important as a Christian to know God's voice. And I know in the Bible, it talks about how that my sheep know my voice. And so I asked God, I was like, why is it that you say in your word that I supposed to know your voice, but I don't recognize it? And it came to me that it's not that I don't recognize it, but it's just that when he speak to us, a lot of times our mind is on so many other things. And I'm a witness of that, how that when God 
speaks to you. For me, it wasn't a loud, audible voice. It was just a small voice in my mind. It was so small until from the fact that it's easy to not pay attention and just think that it is yourself. One thing that you want to do is to stay in tune with God. And how you stay in tune with God's voice is by spending time with Him and meditating on His Word. Tip number three, follow your heart. You can't allow your heart to guide you if it's not in tune with God. So in order to follow your heart, you want to make sure that your heart is in tune with God, in tune with His will. And once your heart gets in tune with His will, and then that's when you can follow your heart. Because the Bible talks about how that the heart can be deceitful. And the Bible also talk about, too, that we have to pay attention to what we allow in our heart. So if your heart is evil, then you don't need to follow your heart. I hope this video encouraged you how important it is to pay attention to your desires, guard your heart, and to recognize God's voice. If you like my message and you want to support me, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flo, and it's all about self-development for women. If you are interested in improving yourself, come and join my Facebook group. I would love to help you. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you stay tuned for the next video part two. Bye.